Let's look at how to draw a superior trochoid. Our problem statement says we should draw locus of a point 5 mm away from the periphery of a circle which rolls on straight line path. Take circle diameter as 15 mm. Now how did we arrive at drawing a superior trochoid? Notice that the circle is rolling on a straight line path and the point is 5 mm away from the periphery of the circle. The point is located outside the rolling circle. All right, that makes it a superior trochoid. Now let's draw a straight line path. The rolling circle has a diameter of 50 millimeters, hence a radius of 25 millimeters. Now, the point is 5 mm away from the periphery of the circle. Alright, 5 mm away. Hence, it will have a radius of 25 plus 5 mm, 30 mm. Alright, so with a radius of 30 mm, we will draw another circle. Now let's divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Take the radius of the ruling circle. Stand at this point. Inscribe an arc here. Another arc here. Repeat it at this end. Same here. And lastly, all right, now connect the mark.
now let's mark this point p and that is the point we'll trace its movement and let's name here one two three four in that order next we would have to find the length of this circle i.e the ruling circle it has a diameter of 50 millimeters and the formula is 2 pi r or pi d so when you compute pi times 50 millimeters you should get 157 millimeters which is the same as 15.7 centimeters Let's call this point M. Because we divided the circle into 12 equal parts, we need to divide this length also into 12 equal parts. Let's measure a distance of one centimeter. Now join this part to M. Let's draw parallel lines.
Now let's draw a horizontal line through 1 and 11, 2 and 10, 3, 9 in that order. Now let's project this numbering up onto the center line. Now let's draw the mark point to generate the curve. All right. So let's pick the distance C0 to P. Turn on center one, C1, and cut the line going through one. Stand at C2. Make a marking on the horizontal line through two. Step on C3. Cut the line going through three. And so on.
We need to draw a horizontal line through P as well. Now draw a smooth curve through this point. And that's it. That's how to go about drawing a superior trochoid. Thanks for watching.